Oh, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. In this fancy big ball that's spinning in space. My name's Jade and this is How to App on iOS. And it's Monday fun day here in Australia because we are experiencing a crazy thunderstorm right now. It is a brutal on many levels. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, yeah, so hey, if you're watching on Facebook, hi. Can you hear that? It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that through the microphone. It is crazy loud, the thunderstorm. Um, so hi on Facebook. If you want to join us over here on YouTube, you can at any time. Or you can leave a comment. We see it here as well. Or you can come join us for the fun at youtube.com slash star. Or alternatively, you can go to How to App on iOS and always catch the show live or catch up on playlists or a whole bunch of stuff there. So... Because the website's all fancy and stuff. It's fancy. Uh, yeah. And um, those of you over here on YouTube, welcome along. Wow, there's a few of you here and you're already chatting away. Chitter chatter, chitter chatter. Russ, hello. Scott, Gary Hubbs, Benedict Stewart. Good to see you. Mark, Pete Johns is jumping around like a frog in a sock today. Well, we all are, man. We, I, had, I was just watching you, Pete, and I had... Uh, the sound test room on on a different device and had one in one ear one in the other oh goodness me there is just so much cool content it is really hard to keep up uh tom michelle i think i said scott scott hey yeah i said it again sm borthwick pete says um i'll listen on my mobile while i wrangle the kids and make coffee good idea uh, just don't put the kids in the coffee uh who else dr zorders welcome aboard paul good to see you too um, a little uh, scroll down. Anyone else I've missed? Adam, good to see you too. Gary Hubs. Um, I don't have my glasses on. So if I've missed you, just yell at me. You missed me, loser. And I'll make sure that I catch you. All right, man, there's a lot going on. Let's start off. Let's start off. Let's talk about the Mac first. Let's do that. Let's get out of the way. The, the, uh, Elephant in the room. So yes, I finally did um, pull the trigger. Both me and Pete pulled the trigger on the Mac. I did it uh, last night because... Um, so the place I was going to get it from, because I, I really don't have the money to do it. <laughs> so, of course, I'm just going to put myself in in, <laughs> in pain to do it because I, will, I, I feel compelled to. The power of Christ compels me. Um... The place I was going to get it from had run out immediately when they got stock. But uh, two days later, they got them back in stock. So that's cool. And yesterday, I sold my old E drum kit to my friend who came out and helped me shoot the uh, video clip um, on the weekend. So for those of you who don't know, yes, we were shooting a video clip. And look at some of these photos of my friend Derek as Donald Trump dancing. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Oh dear. So <laughs> tomorrow we're going to be looking at that. Um, <laughs> we used we used a facial recognition app for some of the stuff. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Cause the mask, it just, we, we use the mask for different things. And for the dancing Trump, we use a facial recognition app. Very funny stuff. Anyway, we'll get off that. So, yes, I did buy the new Mac. And um, why did I buy the new Mac? Because I've watched enough videos. I, I Look, I've overloaded my brain on videos. As it does seem that the new Mac Mini at the base model is is a beast. Is an absolute beast. And if you're thinking... Yeah, but eight gigabytes of RAM, you got to toss that train of thought out the window because you, you're thinking old school, you're thinking, um, you know, gigahertz processors, you're thinking Intel, you're thinking a very old structure, which Apple are on a winner here. And sure, the next devices that come out, the iMacs that are going to come out next year, the, the full-on Mac Pros with probably 32 gigs of RAM and all this stuff, they are going to be complete beasts. But here's the deal. Apple ha are, have, it looks like they've put so much thought into this. And you got to remember, over 10 years designing this chip, starting off in the iPhone to where we are now, 
okay? And to get to this point, this isn't just a snap of the fingers, we're just gonna throw a chip out there. They have this amazing infrastructure now for this chip to offer customers baseline models that can do what pro devices on Intel are doing now. So this is gonna benefit the pro people who are actually running serious studios once these new Mac Pros come out and the iMacs come out next year that have these chips and have 32 gigs of RAM. But for your, your, your home studio recording person, eight to 16 gigs, I mean, 16 is probably gonna be like, you're not gonna use it most of the time. Uh, from all of the real world footage I've seen to this uh, video uh, Pete showed on his show, which I sent him yesterday where this guy ran Logic with a thousand plugins running. It was just crazy shit, right? Uh, no one's ever going to put a thousand plugins into uh, Logic like that. Another thing too with video editing, I did see a video where um, there were some issues using uh, Resolve, and um, but it turned out it was the actual codec the actual file type that was being used that was causing the problems through the, the file type through Resolve. So, but uh, then uh, the, the same people who did this review actually, um, actually then went back and did a review with Resolve using Apple Codex and everything ran super fast. I've seen, uh, I've seen a video where they ran, um, they were uh, editing, uh, they were uh, processing down some video, which was, like you know 10 minutes of three tracks of 254 256 um uh 4k three uh tracks of it and on on a what was it, it was a, a iMac with 64 gigabytes of ram it took like 6 minutes and on the base model Mac mini it took 3 minutes <laughs> With 8 gigs of RAM. Man, these things are incredible. So I'm super excited about it. And what I will be doing too is I'm going to be cracking the fucking Mac Mini. And we're going to be putting apps from iOS on there that shouldn't be on there. Because there is a way. People have already discovered a way in my little hacking crew that I used to knock with when I was a jailbreaker many years ago, which I still knock around in. I... Um, had some really cool discussions and shared some knowledge yesterday with some friends and was watching Angry Birds on, on Mac and a whole bunch of things that shouldn't be running on Mac from iOS. So we're going to try and crack open the Mac Mini and get GarageBand iOS running on it. <laughs> so what I have seen running on it is Cubasis 3 running on Mac Mini, the iOS version. I've seen now, um, so LumaFusion works really well too. I've also seen uh, uh, now Aurea Pro running on it. So yeah. And there are ways to get around the system, but we'll go into that when my Mac Mini arrives on Wednesday. So I'll probably do a special show on how to crack the Mac Mini. That'll be the first thing I do with it, <laughs> because that's me. I want to tinker with it. I want to fuck with it. I want, you know, if I'm going to spend a thousand dollars on it, <laughs> you don't tell me how to use it, Apple. So that's going to be really fun. Right, let's have a look at these stuff because you know what, Black Friday and all this stuff, there are a lot of apps that are on sale. So if you're not signed, if you don't, there's a uh, not signed up to um, AppSlice.co. There's a link in the description, and um, it takes you directly to this little bookmark I have, which as you can see here, it's uh, latest apps, all apps, music. So if you go to that link in the description to uh, AppSlice, save it to your bookmarks, you'll get everything that gets updated every day. So as you can see, wow we got a lot of stuff going on. So a lot of these I don't even have. This accordion vintage thing I'm probably going to have a look at because I'm always after a good accordion app. So the Ape um, filter stuff, Ape Delay, and I think Ape Matrix. So Ape Matrix is like a similar to um, AUM or Audio Bus. It's like a patch bay that you can, uh, you know, link up apps to each other to run into a door or whatever. So that's on sale from eleven ninety nine to five ninety nine. I'm considering getting it because I've always wanted it. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of apps here. So here's the big one. If you haven't got Cubasis, now would be the time to grab Cubasis because it's dropped. Cubasis two is down from twenty three ninety nine to eleven ninety nine. Cubasis three is down from 50 bucks to 23 or 24 bucks. So there you go, Baselicious has dropped as well. 
there's pages of them folks so there are a lot of apps um, IFX rack I actually have this and it's been in my list to look at for the longest time I still haven't got to it pure synth which I did a review on a little while ago if you're watching on the replay I'll put a link in the this uh, above my head a card up there to check that out it's really cool pure synth amazing uh, so all the a whole bunch of Bleece apps are on sale too um, and one, also one I did so Bleece Shimmer is really cool as well so that's down from eight bucks to four look at them all man so cool uh, what else so Bleece Alpha I did a review of too which is really ace down from 15 to eight um all the wood scraper wood stepper would you later they're all on sale um so the god i can't even think of the company name who makes these um virus synth is that what they are um so emo chorus all those kind of things so man there's a lot of apps on sale and there's going to be more on sale too so as i said keep watch of this page because as we draw closer to friday they are going to keep piling up and if there's those things that you want to grab they may appear there it's uh mark says jade keep that video private in the beginning just share the link so we can see if they take it down oh look um there's already videos that are up on youtube so apple can't really do anything about it um it's not we're not mod modding the system or anything like that we're just running something that apple are probably a bit pissed off that they don't want you to run but they can't really stop it and that's it um but the thing is too i will say that this you know it's just a program that you run pretty much uh it's a paid thing and luckily enough I, i've actually been a paid paid up with this service for years from jailbreaking but yes all right so what are we looking at today hello Stu. have i missed anyone welcome to you was anyone come in since i was yammering on my nonsense uh deep gravity hello thanks for being here i'm scrolling up trying to keep my shit together all right so what are we looking at today let's just jump in and do this now we are looking at four pockets time four pockets we're looking at slow-mo effects now i've had this one for a little while i've got a backlog of things that i'm trying to catch up with and like usual with um, my shows you have to remember now this is uh, I'm I'm not an electronic music artist you know I dabble in noise and soundscapes and messing with sounds and trying to deconstruct electronic music to drag it through the dirt shit on it turn it sideways wrap it in paper bury it dig it up eight days later and uh, see how it looks and that's what exactly what I'm gonna do again with this app today so um, let's bring this up here for you guys what are we oh it's called slow move effects i'm not even typing doing well <laughs> there it is there cool so um so by four pockets and um the the idea behind this i do believe is that um it was created in conjunction with a whole lot of beat makers from a, a beat making group on the internet um, to try and create uh, like this slow uh, you know what the best way i describe it if you've ever played max Payne or watched the matrix movies and um, when they have the action scenes it breaks down into slow-mo bullet time this app takes um uh sequence stuff or drum beats or anything like that and it slows it down by half and then by half again and then you can like uh add it uh take it down by like a, a quarter to get some really crazy uh beats in there as well and you can mix them in together or you can just have the sound by itself so it's like creating a, a replica track of whatever is playing at a lower speed so i call it bullet time i just think of max Payne every time so now i don't uh, how much is it i didn't have a look i think it's about 6.99 from uh, from recalling let's have a look slow if i can spell slow mo fx copy uh, coffee so it's seven bucks 
Um, I'm not sure if it's going to go on sale. You, I mean, you can wait, but look, I, today I'm just going to chuck it in a few different apps and we're going to fuck around with it and see what kind of crazy things we can do with very simple beats, with very simple uh, patterns and stuff from a sequencer. And we'll even try it with some guitar and stuff too because that's what I like to do. Think outside the box and try and come up with something off the wall. Right, so for starters, we'll jump into AUM and I need to have some coffee out of my Studio Live Today cup, which you can buy at studiolivetoday.com slash merch. <laughs> I'm even shilling for Pete on my own channel. Yes, it would be good, Russ, for jungle 160 and then a 130 underneath. Um, best mug in the word, world, I hear. Oh, Pete. God. Stop trying to act like you're a good salesperson. <laughs> the, Pete, the salesman, the man who, who has a whole bunch of audio stuff on his webpage and tells you not to buy it. <laughs> I'm mucking around. It's early in the morning. Give me a break. All right, so here we are in AUM. Good times. If you don't know what AUM is, if you haven't been here before, I'll try to remember to put a card up above my head because I've done two videos on it and I'm probably going to do a video on it again this week and going to give away some copies of it. So what we want to do first is I'm just going to grab in a some kind of drum program. So we want to hit this plus up the top and we want to hit audio unit extensions. And why not just grab this, this lovely app, which I haven't even looked at yet, this analog 909, which I'm planning to do a show on, but there's just so many apps. Um, and what we want to do now is add, you know what, let's, let's start a little bit different. Let's, you know, I want, I can change what I'm going to do. Let's start a bit different. Let's use a four pockets app with a four pockets app. Let's double up, double down on the four pockets stuff, yeah? So, uh, oh, I'm in the wrong section. So, oh, there we are. Let's find, um, why can't I find what I'm looking for? Oh, there it is. So let's grab Strummer FX. So I've done a look at, at this uh, app before. So this is a guitar, like a virtual guitar. It's amazing, right? So I've done a show on this too. You can go back and have a look at it. And, um, when you hit play on it, so not only that, it has a whole bunch of other MIDI effects you can use. So it's a, it's an amazing sequencer, right? So we've got that in there, and then we're going to go into this little effects button just below, and we are going to add in here slow mo. Because, you know, you, you don't, there are no rules. You don't have to use this because, you know, mainly it was, it says in the notes and everything, it was made for beats and stuff. That doesn't matter. You know, you can use it, you can experiment and, and find out some crazy sounds that you may not have ever thought of. So, um, let's get this synced up. So what I'm going to do here in um, Strummer, I'm going to hit this host to sync. So it's now synced up with AUM at 120. So when we hit play here, it's now playing. I'll turn this down a little bit. So now here is slow-mo effects. Now it's, this is all there is to it. It's very simple. Turn that down a little bit more. So it's a very simple interface. You've got over this side uh, a, a few presets don't really need any presets to this so it's nice and simple you've also got a whole bunch of effects over here so as you click across the top tabs you'll see there's an EQ you've got an overdrive you've got some panning you've got a phaser a delay reverb some pitch shifting left and right pitch shifting with a mix button there your overall output of these uh, effects and a fancy little about thing there you go. So it's, as it says here, this app was created in association with the beat community, right? So there's a link there to those guys as well. Now, you've got an on-off switch, and this is how this app really runs. So this little button in the middle is your magic button to everything. 
Over here you have uh, uh, the size of your, the loop size of how the effect's going to run. So you've got a half, one, two, four, eight, 16, 32. Pretty basic stuff there. These are your three slowdown effects. So you can slow down 1.5, you can slow it down by half, or you can slow it down by four times. And down here is a glide button. Now what this glide button does, if you have the effect set to effect only, so to a totally wet mix, when you turn it on, it actually will slide the, uh, the current um, uh, tempo of the song down like this. Let's just show you straight away what this sounds like, because it's hard to explain. So I'm going to turn on this glide, and we're going to go down to half. You ready? Yeah. There's that little off button. So if we pull it down to four times speed and do it again. Nice, yeah? And next to this little glide button, you have a forward button. So this um, this is the play mode. So you can run it going forward. You can run a ping pong of the actual sound. You can run it in, in reverse. Uh, and you can also run it in a time slip. So what this does is it plays like a, a beat, then it drops one, then it plays two beats, and then it drops one. So it's like it pulls a beat out I'm not sure if it's random, but it's like a, I don't know, think of the, the, the Rocky Horror Show. It's just a jump to the left. You're moving into a time slip. So it, it's, it's kind of like a, a vortex. It, it pulls part of the beat out of the beat. Very interesting. Very, very cool. Um, in the middle here is your mix button. So it controls what's going on. So now if I turn this up to the middle, and put this slide back on. Now, when I turn it on, you'll hear it drop down, but you'll still hear the original sound, right? Now, you hear what that's done there? It's created like a pad underneath. How beautiful is that? I think that's amazing right because how many times have you you know been writing say a, a song with guitar in garage band or something like that and you're looking for the right pad to go underneath and this takes the original acoustic sound that you've got there and creates its own pad underneath it that's so um time saving firstly and very innov innov innovative innovative <laughs> get it right stupid Let's just close that for a minute. We can, we'll open both of these here. If we add a 12 string to it, watch this. And let's bring down, let's bring it down to a four speed. And we'll turn it off. So remembering you can turn that glide off at any time, all right? And um, so now if I've got the glide turned off. Now when I turn it on, just gonna finish my coffee before it goes cold.
And next time, Pete, can you make, can you release some cups that have like a warming feature in them? <laughs> Is that asking too much? Right, so now that the glide's off, and you turn it on, it won't do that drop down. It'll just add the pad. So I'm just jumping between the two and four here. Now also, as I mentioned, across the top here, you've got these loop sizes. So if I go all the way down to a half, check this out. So you can change the ba you can change the tempo of what's going on underneath to create different textures. Look, it's such a small and simple app, but it, there's so much you can do with it. I'm just going to stop this for a minute. The really interesting thing you can do too, and I'm not going to go into it today because I want to show you some other things around this, just some simple stuff. It's just so just open your mind for a second. If you open up something like Cubasis three and uh, you create uh, a track with uh, slow-mo effects in it, you can actually automate this on and off button coming on. So you can automate it. And so you, if you're familiar with automation in, um, uh, in uh, Cubasis 3 or even in um, Aurea Pro, it's a bit different than how you do it in GarageBand on iOS. So uh, you actually would play the track. And while it's playing, you can actually, it's, it, it's recording the movements that you do for the automation. Like that's where GarageBand, you actually go into the file and add points yourself. But in Cubasis and Aurea Pro, you actually play the song and whatever changes or volume lifts or things you do, it records those movements. So you would add slow-mo effects and while it's recording, you can turn on and off this effect to add these little pads underneath and change the timings and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really cool thing that you can do. Maybe we'll look at it in another video a little way down the track when I'm looking again at um, Cubasis because I'm thinking and planning of doing a few more videos on Cubasis because I've only done a few. But yeah, very cool. So, so that's just a little bit of, of strummer. So you can see with a, uh, and think about it too, not only can you use this here, let's just show you quickly. We'll just shut this down. Oops, go away. Let's just shut everything down actually. So we've got things that are running smooth. Let's just open GarageBand up and give this a try. So we'll go to our virtual guitar. And it should do that. I, I, I haven't tried this, so I'm just winging it, yeah? Um, let's go to a finger-picking thing. Try this one, yeah? Uh, we'll just start the count. So from here, you would uh, go into your uh, effects, plugins and EQ, and add in this effect. And so slow-mo effects in here. And you get the same kind of thing. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, yeah, should work. <laughs> um, so I think you have to have it playing for it to work. So now it's set to just the, um, so, because we've got this mix button all the way.
Let's try some reverse stuff underneath. Because you've got this forward section here. So as you can well imagine, any other stuff you can you know, put in here, like uh, the arpeggiators, any stuff with synths that you record, so you could even record like your own acoustic guitar, this thing can add some something really unique to your, your sounds that you might not have even thought about. You know, because how many times have you uh, been creating a song and, <laughs> and you're sitting there like, oh, let's just go through, um, I don't know, a bunch of keyboard sounds and you're going through all the keyboard sounds, desperately clicking through them, trying to find something to add to this song. Like you think you need it. <laughs> And most of the time you actually don't need it. When something like this can come in really handy, where it's just some kind of simple little padding that's, and it's, uh, it, it doesn't use, it uses fuck all like memory resources to run a whole bunch of instances of this as well on a track. It's saving you an extra track and it's creating this little padding effect. So it can be used in GarageBand. That is good news as well. Let's get rid of this track because I do this all the time. <laughs> I leave the track, I shut down GarageBand, and then I end up with a whole bunch of song 238. And it has this one weird guitar track that I used in this show. So let's jump back over to AUM. And we got a fresh palette to start again. So let's do what I was going to do at the start there. And instead, let's add some drums, yeah? So let's add this Analog Nono 9, which is a really cool app. I can't wait to do a bit of a review on it. You get to see a bit of it now. And um, let's just start it playing. What do we got here? Let's just... This is a pretty standard beat there. Yeah, I did try Pure Acid Rust. Oh my God, we'll go, we'll get there, that's next. <laughs> oh man, some crazy shit when you use that. So let's go down here and find it. So it's slow-mo effects. Okay. And let's just uh, throw it down to half speed, yeah? Yeah. What happened there? It created its own snare. How cool is that, man? Let's bring it down to uh, four times. And remember, let's go back to two. Remember, if you bring it down to half in this loop size up here, you ready? So you're actually, you're actually manipulating the, the drum app from within here, totally creating your own different beats. I mean, this is pretty damn cool. Let's add some reverse. So the other cool thing is, on each end here, this one here on the far left and this one here on the far right, these are like some little EQ things. So you can pull out all the low end. So there's a, a low cut and a high cut over here. We haven't even looked at some effects, right? So down here, you've got these eternal internal effects. So let's uh, let's try this time slip, see what difference this makes. Or it would go to a ping pong. In 
In fact, let's try a different sound. Let's just choose one at random. Let's go to all. Blows me away. So you've got all these effects in here. Let's go back to a more uh, blah, 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 standard kind of thing. Let's go to, have a look at some of J Jamie's things. So here it is by itself. Now you've got these eternal, internal effects here. So you've got your EQ. You can turn these on. So you've got a full EQ. You just double touch all of them to go back to the middle. That little one doesn't, that last one doesn't want to. You've got drive effects over here when we turn it on. You've got some delay. reverb So as you can hear as well, like with the mix, it's n when you've got these effects on as well, it's not actually affecting the original sound. This one here. You get some pitch stuff over here. Cool, yeah? So, really not doing much to get all those different sounds out of just one beat. Let's throw in something like, uh, what was it, Acid? Let's see what we can uh, get there. And again, like the beautiful thing about this, there is no right way to use this app. The, you know, there, there never is a, a, a right way to use things. You know, the, these things are about breaking rules and seeing what you can do with these things. So here we are with Pure Acid. Let's um, yeah. let's see what it does to this. So this is just the basic initial sound of Pure Acid. Nothing fancy yet. And we'll turn off the effects for now. Pull this back to an even mix. And... So it's just added that little bit underneath just to give it some padding almost.
listen to that underneath there. But let's add something a bit more complicated, yeah? Because there's a lot more complicated in this app. I'm just going to go randomly, yeah? We'll turn this off for now. That's what's going on underneath. <laughs> so I just turn that off and let's turn it back on and hear that, that glide happen. I've lost it. <laughs> what else we got in here? Let's just... Alright, here we go. do that <laughs> look what I've done <laughs> I've fucked with it too much I love that shit let's bring it back in here um so <laughs> god I love breaking apps <laughs> what is it what does it turn me on so much to know I'm trying to break things um oh, it's what I, I grabbed the wrong app there what we want um, <laughs> good times good times smashing smashing apps to hell um so this is the thing, when I get down here to Four Pockets, there's so many Four Pockets apps with the S in them, I always confuse them because they always have an FX at the bottom. We've got Shimmer FX, Slow Mo FX, Solo FX, Strummer FX. So it's Slow Mo FX, there we go. So let's start this plan again.
So I'm just turning this on and off with the mix fully wet. So I think he's starting to get the point, yeah? Let's just throw on... What else can we do here? Um, there's something else. Let's open up. So we, we did a project last week um, here in AUM. So uh, where I showed you in how to use AUM and create a whole bunch of tracks. Look how easy it is. Remember, if you watched the show last week on AUM and I had all these tracks going, I saved this and look at this. I've just opened it up and here it goes. So it's opening all of these apps, all of these AUV3 plugins, and there it all goes. So yeah, it can be automated. You can automate it in things like um, a Cubasis, definitely. So I did watch a video on that on YouTube. So if you if you do a search for it, uh, so there is a video with um, slow-mo effects automation in Cubasis. You will find a video showing how to do it. I think Doug, uh, was it Doug who did it? Maybe, I think so, I can't remember. But I did see that. So uh, what have we got here? So this was um, what we did last week, mucking around. Um, here's my strummer. So we need to sync this up. That's what we need to do. Um, and start it playing. So if we add it onto here, like we did before. Instantly there's some thickness to that. So we've got this piano track here as well. So let's um, kick this off too. Um, so what we've got here, if you, uh, this is a MIDI track here, and I'm using um, Strummer FX as a as a sequencer to sequence Ravenscroft. Okay, and then we could go in here and add to this. So you can add this to piano as well. So let's see what it does to that. Crank it up a bit. How nice is that? With one click of a button. Add some effects to it, some reverb. four times slow how fat is that what about if we reverse it
So this is the time slip. See you later, Mark. Thanks for hanging out. We'll, have, we'll try the ping pong just for fun. There we go. We'll bring that piano back in. This should sound really cool at four times. So clearly there's a whole bunch of ways you can use this. You could automate it in something like Cubasis. Uh, you could automate it in something like uh, Aureo Pro. You could actually record all these tracks like we have in here. Uh, and record all these down to like audio files in audio share and then import them somewhere else um, Multiple ways you can use this and remember too. This is synced up as well. So you can change your Timing over here within AUM So let's bring in a few of these two now let's uh In fact, what else have we got here? So we'll unsolo this. And I'm pretty sure we have. So lastly, we'll have a look at this too. So this is again, I've got a track of iSymphonic. And um, what am I using here? I'm using Adam as a sequencer, as a MIDI track controlling iSymphonic, so we can add it in here as well. And let's see what it does to this very basic track. God, I've got way too many apps in here. <laughs> there we are. Right now I'm just fucking around too much. All right, so I think that that covers it. So you can get an idea of the what this can do. It's a very simple app. Um, so I think it was originally, uh, well, it still is originally a part of um, the new rack effects, which I still haven't done a show on because there's so much in that. But that's coming up. Um, I just want to make sure my head is covered around all of that. So again, strummer effects and um, slow-mo effects were actually started out in this app here. 
so um so there's a uh, new rack effects and they're just um they're smaller versions of these two apps and i think they were so popular within new rack effects that uh, uh paul decided to just turn them into apps themselves so definitely another cool app that uh you know if you're looking to do this kind of thing this kind of padding this kind of stuff it can be very useful to have in your arsenal uh there you go that is that i hope this has given you a little uh, some more ideas on what you can possibly do with these apps um of course be responsible when buying apps don't be stupid like me <laughs> just buy everything but always support these great developers because they do create fantastic apps and there is a new four pockets app out for drums as well too which i'm hoping to get my hands on and have a play with too what have we got coming up tomorrow so tomorrow we're going to have a look at um the movie the, the video clip that i shot on the weekend in my garage so some of the green screen stuff because i'll remind you all last week we looked at luma fusion and i said i had the updated version and guess what i hadn't actually updated it because i'm a dickhead <laughs> so tomorrow we're going to look at some of the footage from the video clip and start to play around with the new enhanced green screen capabilities in luma fusion and tool around with those and for the rest of the week, I think we've got some apps to look at. Um, not sure of the interview we have this week, but it's going to be cool. Always is cool, uh, the interviews we have on the show. So thank you very much for hanging out. Um, remember to pop over to the website at howtoapponios.com and um, catch up on stuff there, videos, playlists, all that stuff, all of the 125 episodes that I have here. Please subscribe if you haven't. That makes me happy. Like the video too. That helps with the algorithm stuff. And you know, we're at like 920. We're nearly at a thousand, folks. So thank you all once again. I say it every day for all your support. You're very kind. And I love every one of you for hanging out with me and in indulging my rambling while I tool around with apps. It's good fun. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Keep creating, keep being cool because you all are. Stay gangster and do the things that make you happy. All right, I will see you all tomorrow on the flip side. Adios, amigos. Ah, yeah. Click the subscribe button and watch a playlist. <laughs>